Welcome back, ladies. Uh, would you buy makeup that someone whipped up at home in their kitchen or even in their garage? Well, mixing handmade cosmetics is a do-it-yourself trend, but are homemade cosmetics safe? And what rules do the sellers have to follow? CBS 4's Rhiannon Alley explains why you, the buyer, should beware. After a local makeup artist offered to create cosmetics that wouldn't irritate her sensitive skin, Marta Countess decided to give handcrafted powder and eyeshadow a try. When I heard that somebody was actually mixing and matching and using all natural ingredients in their home setting, I thought that was fabulous. We found mixing up homemade cosmetics is taking off. In her spare bedroom, Kim Snyder carefully concocts eyeshadows and blush and then sells it online. And she says her mineral makeup contains no preservatives, talc or chemicals and is not tested on animals. My typical customers are young. Uh, I'm finding that they're in their 30s. We searched online and found dozens of do-it-yourself internet entrepreneurs with a range of products, pitches, and prices. We ordered some homemade makeup from several different sellers. They arrived in plastic or glass containers, packaged in baggies, or even newspaper. The same federal rules that apply to big companies also apply to people who produce makeup in their home. But cosmetic chemist Ron Robinson says consumers should still use caution. In general, the FDA is not inspecting these places unless there is a big or a large number of consumer complaints. Kim says she takes extensive safety precautions in her home. She wears gloves, she ties her hair back, cleans her mixing table with alcohol, and she stays away from her kitchen to avoid food contamination. If you are as sanitary as you can be, it makes a difference. If you're interested in trying homemade makeup, experts say, ask around for recommendations. Ask sellers how they prepare their makeup and what precautions they use. And request a sample and then try a patch on a small area of your hand or your arm. On their website, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration warns homemade cosmetic makers they have a legal responsibility for the safety of their products and the packaging and labeling cannot be deceptive. Rihanna Nally, CBS 4 this morning.